and welcome to Grandma DC's kitchen once again. Today's my last day of my little short vacation and uh, I'm in the mood for something sweet, creamy, delicious. What's easier on a keto diet than cheesecake? There's a lot of recipes on the internet and I'm thinking today I don't really want to have to cook. Let's see if we can make a no-bake one. I normally would use Cool Whip, but since I don't have any, and I'm not sure of the carbohydrates in Cool Whip, I guess you can get sugar-free. That should be zero, but I don't know. I am just going to start with a basic whipped cream, which I know is zero. So here we go. This is my Ninja blender. I suppose any blender would work. And I'm going to put in 10 ounces or two cups of heavy whipping cream. And then I'm going to run it. You don't want to listen to that. As you can see, our heavy whipping cream is now thick. To this, I am going to add my cream cheese. I'm going to add two of our blocks of softened cream cheese. These have been out. Two of them. Now, that one was less than a gram of carb per serving. I think I'll have to look it up again, but I think we're looking at about, let's just round up and say four carbs a piece. So that would be eight carbs. And I am going to run the blender again. Oh, beautiful. Now we have this nice thick whipped cream and cream cheese mixture. And to that, I'm going to simply add a tiny bit of pink sea salt and I'm going to add sweetener. Sweetener of my choice is stevia in the raw. And I'm going to start with half a cup. I got half a cup here, measure. Put a nice big half a cup in. Then we're going to put in a little bit of vanilla. And that is your standard cheesecake recipe. Vanilla, sweetener. Um, I like to use, like I said, a, a whipping cream of some sort. Then to this, I'm going to add some melted uh, coconut oil. I'm thinking a half a cup of coconut oil. Uh, now I'm going to add some instant coffee. I have both decaf and I have regular. I'm, I grabbed the regular first so that's what I'm going to use and I am just going to guesstimate this I think about a teaspoon just to give it a little bit of coffee flavor. So we'll have that uh, brown sugar for more of a caramel flavor and the coffee in here for more of a coffee flavor. And I'm just going to stir these two things together. Now remember, it's already sweet because we put the stevia in this basic mix. Oh, heaven. Heaven on earth. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty darn close to the original. I got that mixed around in there, the coffee and the brown sugar. And I'm going to put that in there. That'll be our next one. And then I've got what's left down here in the bottom. It's kind of a mixture of the coffee, caramel, and <laughs> vanilla that didn't get stirred up. That'll be fine. It's all good. It's all cheesecake. What could be bad? And then we will chill these in the refrigerator for probably a couple of hours. Before putting these in the refrigerator, I put just a little sprinkling of the... Um, on the coffee brown sugar ones, a little sprinkling of the Truvia brown sugar on top. And uh, I'm thinking about putting some pecans on top of that too. Uh, that'll make these even more of a little dessert treat. And I thought it was an afterthought. Maybe I better cut some circles and put on top of these so they don't get uh, dried out in the refrigerator. Uh, parchment paper. And there we are. That'll help help them hold a little bit. If I want to make it look a little neater, I don't see any reason for it, but hey, you know. Picky people, picky people. That's me. Best screenshot right there. And in the fridge they go. Well, I'm just going to turn this upside down like this. Like I said, if you don't have one of these little pans, a uh, friend gave these to me. She says, I'll never use these. I don't even know why I got them. So every once in a while I find a use for them. This is our cheesecake, and I'm going to, it's been in the refrigerator now for about an hour. It could be in there a little longer, I think. Let's see if I get that to release. Yes! Woohoo! There she is. Mmm. I licked my fingers. Fabulous. Now, 
I think we decided that there was about six grams of carb and a lot of fat, good fat, in the entire cheesecake recipe, and it made three of these. And believe you me, a half of this is about all you're going to be able to eat, maybe a quarter. So I would consider this two grams of carbs per little cheesecake. And that ain't much, girls. <laughs> if you like that cheesecake idea, hit like and subscribe to keep up with me. Thank you all for watching. It was just uh, something simple and fun, I thought, for a day. And you could take that to a family reunion, make it one big one. You could add different flavorings you like. Someone suggested sugar-free strawberry jello mixed in with it. Mmm, that'd help it set up even more. And would give it that kind of strawberry cheesecake flavor. I'd like to try that. I just don't have any sugar-free strawberry jello. But those are different suggestions. Basic idea. Thanks for watching. Love y'all. Have a wonderful day.